Hello everyone, my name is Siddharth Sangwan and I am a member of Pentesting Club. In this video, we will start with Burpsuit Professional, how you can configure it with the Firefox and how you can use the with built-in Chromium browser for intercepting the traffic. So let's get started. Open your terminal and go with the command burp and hit enter. If you want, you can close the terminal or if you want, you can minimize it. It's again your call. just go with next if you want to create a project you can just go with create a project so i'm gonna use the name new project and i'm gonna save the file on let's say desktop just go with save and go with next if you have any configuration file like which websites which subdomains are allowed in the scope which subdomains are not in the scope for this kind of config files json files you can load the files from here otherwise you can leave it default as use of default so you can configure these values later as well now this is the workshop professional running in my Kali Linux and this is the workshop professional running in my main Mac machine so I'm gonna show you both for different different machine because both the machines have different IP addresses so let's go with this one first this is the basic dashboard for your Bertrand Professional. Now, if you want to configure this with your Firefox, then you have to go with the Firefox first. And just go with the IP address 127.0.0.1 colon 8080. This is the IP address and the port number used by the Bertrand Professional for their web dashboard. So, from this web dashboard from the Bertrand Professional, you can download the CS certificate. This CS certificate is only necessary when you want to intercept the HTTPS traffic. For example, let's say if you want to intercept the request and response from Facebook, Google, Instagram kind of websites, or let's say any website that use HTTPS, then you will need this CS certificate. So let's just download the certificate and we need to import this in our Firefox browser. If you are using some other browsers, like if you are using Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Chromium or some other kind of browsers then you have to install this certificate on your main machine that's a different thing but for the Firefox you can install it in the browser itself because Firefox carry its own certificate store so what you can do is just go with cert go with view certificates go with import and just go with certificates that we have just downloaded CS cert just go with open now you have to trust the certificate just check these two boxes and go with ok now again go with ok and now you can intercept the traffic for your Burpsuit professional for all the websites in your Burpsuit professional but again one more thing we have to configure the proxy here for proxy part again we have two options first one is you can go with settings and configure proxy manually each and every time second one is go with the extension with the name foxy proxy so just search here for proxy proxy and hit enter let's connect with the internet first and refresh the web page now go with the standard and let's install the extension now if you want to run this extension in the private windows you can just check this box otherwise just leave it unchecked and go with ok now scroll to the bottom go with the back and add your profiles for proxy just go with add i'll name the profile as kali linux i'll change i'll keep the color as green i'll go with this one as http go with the ip address as localhost 127.0.0.1 go with port number as 8080 if you have implemented some username password authentication just go with these passwords otherwise leave it default as empty and go with save now you can close all the unnecessary windows let's open a new tab and close this one as well and now you can enable the proxy with this extension here just select the profile and if you just go with the websites like i'll go with google.com or if I simply add HTTPS in the front and hit enter, we will get the requests here in the burp suite. 
you can see we got the request and we got the responses here if you want to intercept in the real time you have to enable this interception from here now if you are using bird suite on a different virtual machine or any main machine like this one and you want to intercept traffic from another virtual machine or main machine then you just have to enable another proxy listener just go with the options tab under proxy go with add and go with any port number let's say i'll go with one two three four five as my port number i'll keep the ip address as my main Win machine IP address as 192.168.0.134. This is the IP address assigned to my Mac. So just select the IP address and go with OK. Now go back to the browser and let's create one more profile in the Foxy Proxy. So I'll just go with options again. Let's create one more profile. This time I'll go with let's say Mac and I'll go with IP address as 192.168.0.134. Go with port number as 1234 and 5. Go with save and just change the profile. If you want, you can go with the different color here. Let's just go with some blue or purple as well. It's again your call, what color you want to use. And now let's change the profile. All good. Now, if you open a website because we have not installed the certificate for this Burksuit Professional in our Firefox running in the Kali Linux, but we cannot open the HTTPS website. For example, if I go with HTTPS and Google.com, this will give us an error for secure connection because certificate is not installed, right? But if you go with some websites like HTTP colon slash slash test PHP or any website that opens with HTTP, not with HTTPS, it will work. So just go with the history tab and you can see the request and response here easily. So you can configure this burp suite with different machines in the same machines as well. Now after this proxy, your HTTP request and response history will be available in this HTTP history tab. If your website is using web sockets you will get the history here right same things were available in all the books with professional versions other than this proxy tab let's go with the dashboard and let's start with the introduction to our book with professional so on the dashboard tab we got our new scan profile here so just go with new scan here you can go with crawling and auditing in back few days you can go with some spiders available in Burp Suite Professional. Spider is just a crawler that will scroll all the different web pages, all the different directories on the website and show you the results. Nowadays, that spider is available with the name crawling here, or you can say crawl here, right? So if you just want to use spider or if you just want to use crawler, just go with this crawl profile. Or if you want to go with the automated scan that will work with the spidering part and that will also work with the web vulnerability scanning part then you can go with crawl and audits here so you can specify your targets here like i'll go with google.com i'll go with facebook.com i'll go with instagram.com i'll go with twitter.com any number of targets you can specify here then you can go with scan configs you can add your configs here if you want to add some library for the crawling part like what is the depth of the crawling you want to create you can create your profiles as well otherwise you can select from library as well right let's say you want to crawl for like 10 minutes 30 minutes 30, 60 minutes faster fastest like any kind of profile you can pick from here if you want you can create your own profiles as well right let's add a auditing profile as well as thorough and then you can go with application login now if you want to add some login credential for your website login let's say for google you want to use your email address as abc at the rate gmail.com and password is 12345 then you can add these values here like this is my gmail credentials i'll go with abc at the rate gmail.com and password is something like this right just go with okay then we go to the resource pool resource pool is mainly used to specify 
the concurrent request how many concurrent requests how many threads you want to use like you want to send a single request in a second you want to send 5000 requests in a second for that kind of things resource pool is used by default it will send 10 requests in a second but if you want you can change it we have options available in the here right after that go with okay and this will create a task for you one more thing in the latest version of verb suit professional the layout of this scan configuration is a bit different but if you want you can go with your custom configurations here but if you want you can just go with this easy layout as well like you want a deep scan you want a fast scan balanced scan or lightweight scan it's again your call what kind of profile you want to select now other than that we got the target tab here target tab is mainly used to specify the websites that you want to scan mainly like let's say we are using twitter.com right for twitter like we are let's say your twitter is using different plugins from different websites for tracking part for different other things let's say like twitter is using facebook you're using uh, google fonts or some other kind of plugins or let's say adverse as well right so you will get requests from different different websites like we got instagram we got google to play we got twitter we got and this static we got facebook we got ads we got ad service here but we want to intercept the traffic only and only for your twitter.com right not even for https we want the traffic for http right for that what you can do is you just go with right click and you can add this website into the scope right and if you want to ignore the traffic for all other websites you can go with yes otherwise just go with as no right we got the request we got the target in our scope part if you want to exclude something from the target you can just add it here from for exclusion part all the vulnerabilities all the definitions their remediation their description their references you can just go with these things here in the issue definition tab then again we got the proxy and now let's go with the options tab here so you are familiar with the proxy listener you can just start some other listeners as well then we got few basic conditions that you can apply on your requests let's say we have specified the target and i want to capture traffic only for this particular target so what i'll do is i'll go with the proxy tab and i'll apply the condition that only show me the request and responses for websites available in the target scope right by default verb suite will not show you the responses but if you do want to show the responses just go with this checkbox right this will start showing you the responses as well for each and every request but again you can just filter out these things as per these conditions right you can create your own conditions as well it's again your goal then we got some options for web socket if you don't want to see the web sockets you can just enable disable these values if you want you can go with some basic response manipulation or response modification kind of options from here then we got some match and replace values here let's say you want to change your user agent you want to change some status scores this kind of things can be done from this is match and replace options if you want to go with your custom tls handshake part let's say if you want to go with some uh, like lower version of tls certificate that you want to use for that you can go with this tls pass through here and for some advanced or you can say miscellaneous options you can just go with here now other than this proxy we got the intruder tab here intruder tab is mainly used to transfer a request to send a request multiple times to the server like with any modification or without any modification for example let's say i want to send a request like thousand times to the server so let's say i want to send this specific request thousand times to my server and i want to analyze the response of each and every request so what i'll do is i'll simply go right click and i'll send it to intruder now i'll go with the intruder and i will clear all the positions where you can add your word list or any kind of payloads that you want to add right so i'll clear all the position and i'll select any random value or you can just go with this q for the quality part and just add it as my position that i want to change value of this specific field or parameter let's say right if you are using a single position and if you want to use a single dictionary then you can go with the sniper right but if you are using 
your two different dictionaries for two different positions then you have to go with your battering ram right so let's say i'm using one more position here so i'll go with this one let's go with add now let's go with payloads and you can specify your word list here let's load the word list from here i want to let's say use your passwords or if you want you can go with some common values like numbers i want to use because i want to send the same request thousand times so i'll start with one i'll go up to thousand and i'll increment the value one by one so let's start the attack this will send the same request exactly same request only this quality value will be changed right so you can just use your intruder to loop the request multiple times right even for brute forcing you can use your intruder there now other than that if you are using two different word lists for two different positions you can go with your pitchfork or cluster bomb the only difference is in pitchfork both the word list will be incremented at the same time for example we have two positions now let's go with the payloads and let's go with the for word for my first word list i'm using counting from one to thousand and let's say for my second word list i'm again going with numbers and let's say i want to start with 1001 and i'll go up to 2000 right or let's say i'll go with up to 1500 now i'll increment with one now you can say only 500 requests will be sent because both the word list will be incremented at the same time so in the second word list we only have 500 characters so burst width will only and only send 500 requests not a single request more than 500 right so you can just go with start attack and you can see both the word list both the positions were updated at the same time right other than that if you want to go with some kind of permutation combinations then you can go with the cluster bomb here right in this case let's say it will start with the first word available in the second word list and try all the words in the first word list one by one this will go with permutation combinations you can say and in this case this will try 500,000 attempts right so let's start this attack and you can see the second payload value is same 1001 and only the first payload is getting changed right after using all the payloads from first word list then payload from second word list will be incremented only then right so again this will take some time again because brute forcing is always a time consuming thing right other than that part if you want to modify request each and every time by yourself for example i want to change the method from get to let's say post and i want to analyze the response right you have changed the value by yourself you have made your custom modifications in that case you can go with your repeater when you will modify the request each and every time by yourself right and analyze the response now for example let's say i want to compare two different responses for that what you can do is you can go with comparer tab available here so now i'm going with post response and i'll go with get response as well so for get we got this 400 we can clearly see the difference but again for the comparison part you can just go with this one here or let's pick the response from this actual request and i want to compare them word by word right so just go with comparer tab send two or more request or responses in the comparer and you can compare them one by one so you can see these values were modified in the second response these three lines were added in the second response and this first line is removed from the second response right so you can go with this color codings as well to analyze the request and response comparison now other than that other than this repeater you can go with sequencer sequencer is mainly used when you are trying to analyze the randomness like when you are working with complexity of some tokens or some session ids right that session id is random token is random or not for this kind of thing we use your sequencer to test the 
complexity or the randomness now after this sequencer we got the decoder tag decoder tag is generally used to perform encoding decoding and your hash operations over the data for example let's say i'm using my name and let's say i have entered my name in the password field right so what websites will generally do they will encode the value and then transfer to the server right so let's say i'm going with encoding as base 64 now suppose this value is being transferred to the server let's say transmitted to the server in the request right you got this value in the request and now you want to extract the actual plain text for that what you can do is just go with decode base 64 and you will get your actual plain text right so you can use your decoder for encoding decoding as well as for hash creation as well let's say i want to create a hash for any algorithm that you can pick so we have multiple algorithms available here it's always your call but algo you want to use so you can pick any particular algo multiple algos were available here let's say i want to go with md5 right this will create a hash in hex format then again you have to encode it into base64 to get the actual value right so this is the basic use of your decoder tab so you're already familiar with the comparer then we got the logger tab logger tab is mainly used to check the history of all other different tabs for example i want to check traffic generated by this scanner here all the requests sent by the scanner or this automated task or you can say i want to analyze all the response received by this particular automated task right or you want to go with all the requests and responses for the intruder for the repeater for the sequencer then all these values all the history will be available in your logger window here other than this logger window you can go with your extenders extender tab is mainly used to manage your extension that you have installed or that you will install in your web suite professional for example if i install this dotnet beautifier just click on this install and it's installed if you want to enable disable this extension you can just check or uncheck the box it's that easy if you want to uninstall this extension or let's say if you want to remove this extension just go with remove done it's that easy if you want to create your extensions then you can go with this api creator part here right if you want to create your extension only then if you want to configure your environment variables that will be necessary for some extension not for each and every extension but for few of them for example for this ad hoc payload processor we need the jruby here right so what you can do is just download the jar file for jruby and you can specify the path here in the jruby files right so for this kind of thing you can go with these options available here for the environment variable for the path kind of things then we got few basic options from the project part one interesting thing in the project is your logging here if you don't want to miss your request that you have that you have forwarded to intruder to repeater or to your sequencer right then you should check these boxes and save all the traffic in your burp suite project right otherwise burp suite will only capture or you can say only record request and response available in your proxy history and in your repeater tab right intruder tab sequencer tab these will not be maintained for the history right so you can go with these options as well then we got user options here for user option one more interesting thing is here we got the upstream proxy server these upstream proxy servers are mainly used when you want to add one additional layer of proxy with your burp suite for example let's say this particular firefox browser will send request to my burp suite professional then from burp suite professional i want to send this request to my custom or let's say attacker server right then that attacker server will send the request to the original server so if you want to add one more layer of proxy on top of burp suite professional then you can go with this upstream proxy server here right we have few other options as well that you can go with right so this is the basic burp suite professional that you can go with so have a good day and stay connected with pentesting club